Hi there crafters, it's Sheila with Sheila'sStamps.net and today we are using Woven Thread Sweet. And this is a sweet little birthday card we're making today. Let's get started. Okay, so we are using Woven Heirlooms and we're going to be using the sentiment here and these two pieces. And then we're also going to be using the Happy Birthday from Beautiful Bouquet. And we're using most everything from the wood uh, woven thread suite. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my big shot. And let's see, I'm gonna use my cutting first. Now, I have a piece of pretty peacock, and that is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then I have the um, woven, oh, the heirloom frames and embossing folders. So I'm just gonna center that and run this through. And we are going to use this for our mat. And now we are going to emboss this. So I'm going to take these two pieces off. And I'm going to bring in my heirloom 3D embossing folder. And I tried it both ways. I found it was easier to... Um, Cut it and then emboss it. Okay, so I have two shims here. Put that down. And then we'll run it through. And I'm going to go ahead and run it backwards just to get that good and embossed in there. And look at how pretty. I love that. All right, that is all this embossing and and uh, use of the big shot. So let's go ahead and do some stamping. Now I went ahead and ran through um, a piece of the uh, other color here. What is that color? Purple Posy. So I ran that through just for time's sake off camera. Now I'm going to come in with my pretty peacock. And then I have our sentiment mounted on clear black D. I just got ink on my finger. Make sure that's good and inked up. And we're gonna put it here in the center. So just like that. I think it's a little crooked. Let's go ahead and stamp it again. All right, that's much better. We'll put that aside. Now our card base is the Purple Posy as well, and it's cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it at four and a quarter. So I'm just going to take this little end here, and I'm gonna decorate the top, and also the bottom. And then I'm gonna get these and put these in the corner. Just like that. And then I will get the happy birthday. Oh, I'm sorry. 
this was mounted on clear block B, and this is mounted on clear block A, and this is also on B. All right, so that is all the stamping we're doing. We're gonna put this card together now. So I'm gonna bring in my silicone sheet only because I don't wanna get any adhesive where there shouldn't be, and it's a little bit thin here. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it on all four sides though. So just like that. And make sure it's where you want it. Put that down. I got a little bit of adhesive here, but that's not going to matter. I'm going to put down my. Um, woven threads designer series paper and this is cut at three and three quarters by five Let me go ahead and get this out of the way okay so just like that then i want to pop up my frame here. Let me get my Stampin' Dimensionals. It's my sister's birthday and we're having dinner. So she doesn't know it's a surprise that her birthday is on Wednesday which is the day that this card will be uh, available on YouTube but I'm gonna give it to her tonight which is Tuesday she watches my videos so I have to make sure that I don't release it too soon the majority of my cards are for her All right, got that one a little bit stuck. Um, okay, so, oh, I think that looks good right there. Yay! And then this one, I'm going to go ahead and put flat. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can see it just a tab. So I'm gonna pull this up real quick. All right, much better. Now I have the woven thread sequence and I went ahead and put them down on my uh, mini glue dots just for time's sake all right so there you have it a quick and simple birthday card thanks for watching and if you need any of these supplies please click on my online store it's in the YouTube description below bye